but I used to work on the H1N1 virus um, in 2009. Dr. Gordon Chu is a retired scientist who's based outside of New York City. He's done two TED Talks, he's an inventor, a father, he currently tutors high school students, and he's got some very important information about the coronavirus that he wants all of us to know. So I've put together this interview asking him some questions that I've got in my head that I think you have them too, and I hope that you'll find it useful. I'll leave him to introduce himself to you and tell you about his time in Singapore. I'm an American scientist right outside New York. So uh, I wrote a couple of patents and uh, that became popular in the materials world. So the materials was an extension of my work in 2009 on the H1N1 virus, because other than killing the virus, what happens if you get another virus? What are you going to do? You know, right now the surfaces, you touch them and you could get, you touch your nose and you can get the infection. What if surfaces in the future did not carry germs or are they self-cleaning, you know? That would be great. Mm -hmm. That would be a nice advancement. And Singapore was one of the countries that we're, we're, we're looking for things like that. So I got invited to come to Singapore and work at a, at a, at a university named National University of Singapore. What we had figured out was um, how to turn graphite into graphene. And this, by the way, became uh, not just an idea that you patent, it actually became a granted patent so that everybody, when you peer review and look at it, it agrees that this is novel. What does novel mean? Novel means you can't find it in any textbook. You can't speak to anybody on earth. That's, that's seven billion people, right? You talk to them and nobody knows what you're talking about. Uh, unlike on the artist's world, right? Where you sing a song, you do something and everybody agrees. Oh yeah, that was really good, John. You know, um, you, you need to, in order to get it granted in your name, uh, nobody must agree that they've heard of this. Then when the coronavirus first came about, it was called like the novel coronavirus? Yes, novel. Nobody has ever seen this before, right? So the, the word novel can also be, you know, if we look at vocabulary and helping people build a vocabulary, it can also be weird, odd, you know, unusual. You can say a little bit more positive, unique, right? But you can also use the word extinct because it was once known and now it's not known, right? So novel... Novel has some connotations to it. With the virus, right, people were scared, you know? And other people said, oh, it's just the flu, right? So, so that you saw the two extremes because that's what happens when you have something that's unusual. 